No, we're not going to shout at you, Byron. Don't worry, because you gave us a leopard in, as a payment for your indiscretions with Rusty. And, well, anyway, Ferg and I bent Rusty's same steering arm a few weeks ago anyway, so we can't blame you for anything. So we're just happy that we got to spend some time with the leopard. So thank you, Byron. It's rather than shouting at you, is a thank you going to you today. But look at him watching. He's busy looking into this marula above us, and I think he's trying to see if there's any food. No, we didn't put a carcass up there for you, I'm afraid, boy. Nope, sorry. But isn't this cool? Just resting on a mound. Ah, the joys of leopards. There's nothing better in life. So Ashes One, you say what a magnificent kitty. Well indeed he is. He's as good as it gets really. As in terms of young leopards, he's absolutely beautiful. And I actually he is my favourite, I think. The more time I'm spending with him, he, the more he's sort of endearing himself to me. I know Ferg, this is your favourite leopard that we see here. And I really do like Hosanna as well, but I think there's just something about Tumba and the fact that we're actually seeing him as much as we are over the last few days is just kind of reinforcing that and Chantal says it's her favorite as well so he seems to be a popular boy you can see he's got that popular lean on him at the moment as well he's just kind of chilling on his termite mound and just posing for I photographs for the other vehicle the other vehicle are taking photos and he's kind of just staring straight at their lens which is fantastic for those people that have come all the way out here to get a photograph of a wild leopard so glad that he's such a poser and I think it's not long now until he actually probably falls asleep properly he's, uh, every now and then his eyes are sort of closing a little bit and he then seems like his head is starting to get a bit heavy so I wouldn't be surprised he has a nice nap here somewhere are you watching the birds in, are there birds above us here I can't see any maybe it's just the last few leaves of the marula that are falling that he keeps watching as they kind of drift down to to earth but Tandy is definitely on a hunting mission. She's gone far. She hasn't come back at all. So, memes, you want to know what the name Tundi and Tumba means? Well, Tumba is a boulder, and the name that, well, the reason why he was called Tumba is because he was born at Chitwa Chitwa Lodge. Now, Chitwa Chitwa Lodge has one of their rooms is called the Tumba Suite or the Boulders Suite because it's on some rocky outcrop and that's the perfect place for a leopard to have cubs and so that's why he was called Tumba and Tandi means love so that is the meaning of Tandi's name and that was named I can't remember actually who named Tandi I have to try and find out I think it might have been actually Tax or or one of them that named Tandi I'm not 100% sure I'm sure some of our viewers will know if you can let me know as to who actually named Tandi I can't remember now of course Tandi and Shadow are sisters and Shadow was actually originally named Tingana funnily enough and we had to change that when Tingana the big male arrived and so that's when Shadow was changed to Shadow and lost the Tingana name tag in fact actually uh, Shadow and Tingana she had two names for the, when she was younger and then when Tingana male arrived it was decided that Shadow would become her name permanently and that the Tingana name tag would drop away but you can see the wind is starting to pick up a bit now and so with the wind so is his ears are perking up and just listening there's a few rustlings of leaves and grasses and that'll pique his interest and you can see his ears kind of pricking up and, and turning quite a bit just to work out what's going on around him sure he is a very very pretty boy And it's a pity about just this grass in front of him because it keeps blowing in front of his face. <laughs> so, Nancy, you're wondering why Tandy and Tumba split up? Well, by the looks of it and from what we can work out is that she's been with him all of last night and even during the day, to the, I mean, this morning. And um, it seems like she's just wanting to hunt. She was very interested in looking at things. She kept stalking and getting lower when we were off air. And then she 
decided to move on. So what I think is happening is she's gone off hunting. Tumba is tired of trailing behind mom and so he's now lying down and there might have been some visual cues that we missed where she might have growled at him and said, right, you stay here. This is now time for me to go and see if I can't find us food. And she's gone off to hunt, leave him behind because he's still inexperienced and clumsy and he's going to probably mess up most of the hunts that she tries. Once she's left him, she'll then go hunt and if she's successful, come back and fetch him. If she's unsuccessful, she'll then come back anyway and pick him up and they'll then carry on moving. So that's why they've separated. It's not uncommon to see in young leopards. You'll see it quite often, particularly bigger young leopards like this. They are now completely self-sufficient in terms of he's already able to kill should he need to as we saw with Hosanna he was able to even at a year old start looking after himself as well as Shongile and so they really at the end of the day they are able to climb and to, to get out of danger and therefore it's okay for them to sit in this area by themselves and Tandi can go about her business as she likes. Now I believe Byron in the meantime has managed to find something that little Tumba may want to eat.